to the textile uh, fibers part so we will be doing textile fiber revision so if we talk about textile fiber on a broad level then there are two types of fibers so the first one is natural second one is synthetic so uh, natural fibers uh, basically a fiber to be called as a textile fiber there are some of the requirements that uh, it should uh, be hydrophilic uh, hydrophobic and uh, it should have an adequate length to width ratio minimum length to width ratio is 1000 is to 1 for a fiber to be called as a textile fiber otherwise not all fibers are called as a textile fiber basically if we talk about natural fibers it comes from natural resources including cotton uh, jute uh, cotton jute uh, and if I talk about wool, uh, silk, uh, cotton, jute, wool, silk, hemp, hemp. So these are all uh, natural fibers. In natural fibers, there are two three categories. First one is plant based, and second is animal based. And animal based. These are two types: wool and silk. So these are animal based natural fibers and if I talk about uh, uh, plant based then it is cotton jute so uh, and if I talk one thing about this mineral fiber so only a single mineral fiber is there that is known as asbestos so you can mute yourself and uh, if I talk about this synthetic fiber so in synthetic fibers there are many types of uh, fibers if i talk about uh, the major the major being nylon nylon 6 and nylon 66 are important otherwise there are other compounds uh, such as nylon 610 nylon 612 and so on but these two are important their manufacturing is so important so if I talk about nylon 6, it is made from caprolactam. Caprolactam, I have already told you what is the design of uh, this caprolactam. And uh, if I talk about this caprolactam, then uh, caprolactam is made from uh, this. Uh, this is an aromatic structure. What is aromatic? Uh, aromatic structure. And if I talk about uh, this. Uh, uh, if I talk about this nylon 66, then nylon 66 is basically made from adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine. Hexamethylene diamine. Now, there are many other types of synthetic uh, fibers uh, such as uh, uh, acrylics. Acrylics uh, and uh, if I talk about nylon uh, polyester, if I talk about this polyester part, then polyester has uh, the hydrophobic part, hydrophobic fiber. Hydrophobic fiber means it is a synthetic fiber uh, that has a uh, uh, least moisture regain properties and its moisture regain is 0.4 percent. And if I talk about this nylon, nylons are known as polyamides. Polyamides. Nylon 6, nylon 66, six, both are polyamide. Amide, what? NH linkage is known as amide link. Amide link. Okay. And if I talk about this polyester, then polyester is a hydrophobic fiber. Then it is dyed with a dispersed dye. And if I talk about this dispersed part, mm -hmm. Then in dispersed dye, if I talk about in chemical processing segment, then in dispersed and polyester, uh, which of the isotherm work, so we have read about nurse isotherm, which is uh, made for polyester and dispersed. And on a broad level, if I talk about this dispersed dye, then transfer printing happens on transfer printing. Transfer printing is what? Transfer printing paper is used on which a design is engraved in the paper then finally it is transferred onto the fabric or a t-shirt uh, uh, 
generally it is a synthetic uh, fabric and t-shirts generally transfer printing is uh, used so it is firstly printed on a paper paper is a special type of paper on which a print is prepared so on that print the dye used is dispersed dye only and the fabric is polyester polyester dispersed dye combination only this uh, transfer printing happens so this is all about this uh, polyester uh, uh, so and uh, there are other fibers also these are some are regenerated fibers if i talk about regenerated fibers then uh, viscous is used viscous is known as regenerated fiber if i talk about viscous in a broad level then uh, viscous uh, means uh, viscous is a uh, type uh, is a regenerated fiber that is made from spinning uh, so melt spinning wet spinning and uh, jelly spin melt spinning wet spinning and dry spinning so spinning means what these are regenerated fibers these are made by machines so what actually happens is suppose a polymer these are made from polymers polymer as what polymers are synthetically manufactured and uh, since polymers have a long chain long aliphatic chain such as chain means c single bond c single bond c carbon chain n number of chain so these chains suppose it is in a if i talk about any polymer it is formed in a granular form so in spinning what happens is it is suppose that it is a heated and it is passed through a extruder and something over which it is passed then these in a high temperature range these when granules are put so uh, these are melted the, the, these polymers are melted and then after drawing in drawing what happens drawing these melted fibers if we draw against a high draw ratio draw ratio means how much we stretch if we stretch depending upon our requirement and the diameter we require we can uh, keep or we can arrange the draw ratio or uh, whatever the we require the draw ratio we stretch and we make fiber out of that fiber mm -hmm. is made out of that so th this is typically a manufacturing of all these spinning so on a broad level if i talk about melt spinning melt spinning wet spinning spinning and dry spinning dry spinning dry spinning in melt and